Good evening. As you see, I've got another Trappist beer to review here, and I'm back at the Onion for the first time in quite a while. This time, complete with a glass that they've provided here, we have uh, Orval Trappist Ale from Belgium. Uh, comes from Brasserie de Orval in Orval, Belgium. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, sugar, yeast. <laughs> you can tell it's a Trappist product because it's got the authentic Trappist Ale diamond right there. This one comes in at 6.9% ABV. Yes, right there. Um, as you see, it, it's um, going right to the appearance. Yeah, this is probably best. You'll see it's about the same mm, amber copper colors as she may white. Got lots of carbonation and it makes you want to burp. Sorry, I had to pause there because I was saying goodbye to the lady in that car turning there. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, this Orval, as you see, it was established in Belgium in 1706. I like that goblet, too. Orval here, and the Looks like a whale with a fisticuff or something. I don't know what that is. In its mouth. But anyway. This. Going to the. Uh, aroma. Very, um. Very florally in the smell. With, well, yeah, florally with bouquet with some yeast and fruity undertones. taste here. Cheers. You're very fruity and flowery on the taste, especially on your lips, it leaves um I like that. It leaves a lot nice, um, almost apple blossom, um, note on your lips that you can smell. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I've never really tasted and smelled a beer like that before. Um, I have had this once, but it's been a long time between each other. It's a bit more, um, I guess that owes to the less ABV, it's a mild, um, 
mild to medium mouthfeel. So I'm gonna go, oh. Just because it's a little watery for me compared to Shimei. I'm gonna go 4.5 out of 5 for Orval. Please do. Okay, see you later. Cheers.